got the grace Lies and every other things are falling into place Hello beautiful, welcome to another video. My name is Namalina and today we have a small street Maravastad winter try and haul. But for today's video guys, I'm really trying to consume less and stop buying brand new stuff all the time. So it will have a mixture of some items that are already in my wardrobe, things from years ago. And then I also have some new items from small street Maravastad. Most of the items are from Yerasab Trading. This is not sponsored, this is not gifted. Purchased everything with my own money. Most of the stuff I purchased in January, but I did check their website. They still have these items. So whatever I can find the links to, I will link it for you guys. So without any further ado, guys, let's get right into it. My waist trainer is from Bear Silhouette. I have made a dedicated video about my waist trainer for any of you guys who are interested in waist training. It is not just for shaping. It is also for back support and posture and so many other things as well. So without any further ado, guys, let's get right into the try on haul. Outfit number one, I'm still wearing that same jumpsuit, but I'm also wearing it with these lovely, lovely booties from Yellow Sub Trading. I purchased these quite a few years ago. Absolutely love them. They are super, super comfortable, especially with this chunky heel. They are open at the back, as you guys can see. Open heel, so make sure that your heels are not cracked darling like your relationship make sure they are not cracked okay and then you lace them up here in the front i've never really unlaced them recently they have mesh on the side because they have a zip here that you can just open up then i've got my girl x boy bag i love that this bag is black with the gold hardy but guys it's so much smaller than i thought it's like a Woolworths loaf of bread compared to a Cambridge loaf of bread, you know, Cambridge, that hot loaf of bread. Or shop right for those of you guys, you know, you have that hot loaf of bread. That one. Yeah, it's like a Woolworths loaf of bread compared with that. It's tragic. Very small. And I've got this watch band that actually comes from Shein, a bracelet from Ebriana store. And my necklace is actually from Gorgeous and Bali's brand. Um, the jumpsuit, I can't tell you guys where it's from. The place is a scam. And then this fur is from the Beauty Business Supply List, one of my businesses. Um, this is actually from the suppliers for wholesalers. I will put the price for you guys up. I'll put the price for you guys. I really want to get like really good quality fur. And even my students, they've been saying they're interested in fox fur. This is faux, so it's fake. But I do want to get some real fur, okay? So... Yeah, that is outfit number one. Very much, it's a lot. It really is a lot, but it's kind of like, am I intimidating or are you intimidated? You know, let's move on to outfit number two. All right, guys, so this is outfit number two. Yeah, my waist is wasting, hey? I need this to be just a little bit tighter, and I think it would actually be quite amazing. You know? Maybe a little bit tighter. So this is outfit number two. This puffer is from one of my businesses. And then the bodysuit, I've showed it to you guys before. Like I said, I want to use items that already exist in my wardrobe. This is from Naked Wardrobe, if I'm not mistaken. The pants are from Small Street Maramastat, um, from Yellow Sub Trading. They have so many colors. You guys are going to see them in today's haul. The quality on this is really okay. Good. Okay to good. Okay, it's not excellent, but it's okay to good. It has a very slight stretch to it. And I am 1.7 meters tall. So you guys can see there's a little bit that it's a little bit short a little bit on the short side but that's okay because of the heels that i'm wearing these are from selfast selfast has some really really affordable heels so i wish it wasn't so loose you do need to purchase your actual size when you purchase from yellow sub trading i have to tell you guys about these glasses these are prescription sunglasses but not just that like i can see with them you guys know i wear glasses i can actually see with them but look at this look at that like they are clear glasses i hope you guys can see that they're clear glasses then they have this and you put it on top and it magnetizes and it sits there and you have sunglasses and you still have your prescription glasses without having to have two pairs of glasses like this is excellent i don't have great vision so i do rely on my prescription glasses to see whenever i'm in the sun i have to have prescription glasses that have the photochromic filter so when i'm in the sun they change but a lot of times I just don't want to talk to anybody. So I want sunglasses all the time, but I want to be able to see you without you seeing me that I'm seeing you. Kind of like YouTube. You know what I mean? I want to live YouTube in my real life. So it's 
amazing. I am so in love. I'm gonna think about filming the video. If you guys are interested, let me know because they're not paying me. I'm collaborating with them on TikTok, but they're not paying me for a YouTube video and I don't wanna do things for free. But at the same time, this is really, really helpful for people who don't know where to get these type of items. I mean, I love how innovative this is, like literally. And that way no one can steal your sunglasses because these are for your eyes only. You give them your prescription and they make them so I can actually see in these. It is absolutely fantastic. If you guys are interested, let me know and I'll definitely film the video. So this is outfit number two with my Beyonce hair. This, you guys will definitely get the review for it. Is that hair from Tinashe hair? The one that was black, I just bleached it and I'm really just, I'm very, 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 very happy with it. So guys, this is outfit number two. Let's move on over to outfit number three, darling. Outfit number three i've got this tank top from fashion nova the quality is really not that great um yeah the quality is just not that great and then once again i've got the pants from yellow sub trading this is the dark navy shade it is absolutely beautiful you do want to take your size it does have pockets as well but like i said they do run a bit on the shorter side i am 1.7 meters tall so if you're like 1.5 these would be great on you or 1.6 i think these would be great on you then of course the girl that had everybody talking on tiktok this is one of my favorite favorite items that i've gotten this year this is from one of my businesses but it is for wholesalers only so i'm actually in talks with another company that manufactures like fur jackets to see if we can have a little bit of a collaboration for those of you guys who want to purchase for yourself but it is super 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 cute and get this beyonce out the way it is very 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 cute very very nice i did purchase a size too big just so i can wear like bottlenecks and you know sweaters in deep deep winter it's not that cold right now the weather is a bit up and down but once we're fully fully into winter i think this will be absolutely fabulous so you've got your pleather and then you've got your faux fur here you've also got some pleather over there it is just absolutely lovely i feel like i should have gotten this in a pink as well i'm not sure like a pink. I know a lot of people wanted the black, but now I'm not feeling the black shim. It feels like a rat, or rather it looks like, to me, the black version, it looks like a rat that was put on top of a plastic bag. You know? It doesn't have that thing. So I love this color, the white one, and I feel like I should have gotten like a baby blue. There's tons of different colors. Even like the beige nudish one, I think that one would be really cute. But I am working on that for you guys because I know not everybody wants to start a business, so this doesn't apply to everyone. But yeah, I'm definitely working th on that for you guys. And once again, the heels are from Sal Fast. Okay, so let's move on over to our next outfit. Our next outfit, ish, once again, I get sure. Honestly, I look like the brand ambassador for F-Bob, and that's kind of sad because, you know, F-Bob and funerals and stuff. It's kind of sad, especially because the waist is not wasting. So I don't know if I was supposed to take a size down because more on, I did like on, but honestly, I do look like the brand ambassador for F-Bob. I'm wearing my prescription sunglasses again. Actually, they're quite distracting. That looks better yeah that does look better okay yeah so it's all green i bought the pants because i like the green color but then the shirt i bought it because it was on sale it was 150 rand so i was just like 150. i mean who knows times are tough guys who knows i might just be calling you f bomb do you want uh what does f bob sell they sell coffins or do they sell life cover whatever sad thing they sell who knows maybe i'll be working there one day get like you prepare really you never know. Okay, I still have the tag on because I've literally never worn these pants out because I look like I work for F-Bob. I don't know how to not think of F-Bob. Did you think of F-Bob when you saw me kilometer or Or did you think of something else? Because maybe it's just in my head. Because sometimes you don't actually look like F-Bob. It's just in your head. But yeah, this is a problem. I think I should have gone a size down. Because from everything I saw, these are supposed to be high waist. And right now, they are just, they are not wasting. I'd actually thought I'd wear this. Let me just put my glasses cover in my pocket. I'd actually thought I'd wear this with some fur. But now, I feel like the F. Bob CEO's sugar baby. Like he just came into the office and he said, Sweetie, let's go to Aspen. Let's go to Switzerland. And I said, 
Yes, darling. Let's go. That's what I look like, honestly. Adi klagani ne? Like honestly, adi klagani. Something is just not quite. Guys, this this is driving me crazy. Like, how cool is this? <laughs> oh no, man. Adi klagani was a. I get to be worried. Kini man. Le woro kubo le wana karaki apiri layer. Next. Last but definitely not least, we have got these lovely, lovely pants. I absolutely love these pants. They too run short, um, but I'm wearing these black heels also from Southfast. They have a thicker band, so I feel like it works really well. And yeah, the, the, the curves are definitely curving. These are absolutely fabulous. Um, this top, I believe I also got it from Yellow Sub Trading or from anywhere in Maravastad. A lot of the items that Yellow Sub Trading has, small street stores have them. These stores get a lot of their items from New Feeling, so you'll find that a lot of people have the exact same stuff. So if you don't want to purchase online, you can go to Small Street or Maravastad and you should be able to easily find these items. And Southfast regularly has these heels available in tons of colors. I have a video on my channel about that as well. So these pants, I did not get them from Yellow Sub Trading or from Small Street, or from Maravastad. Gigrile Machining. I absolutely love these pants. I do think you could potentially find them somewhere in Small Street or Maravastad, because it's the exact same design as those other ones. They just have this pattern on them, but they are really, really comfortable. And the quality on this is crazy. It is so much better than those other ones that I showed you guys. Like, it is amazing. They do not have any pockets at the back, but you do have that matching belt. Um, and the metallic details here by the belt is silver. Okay, so it is absolutely stunning. I love these pants. Um, and then I shop at my China. Who knows what I'll find? Normally, if you shop at my China, most of the stuff are horrible. They're ugly. But you'll find one or two gems that are just like absolutely incredible. And this is definitely one of those items. And then um, I would wear this with this Balmain blazer. It's not a Balmain blazer. Ke Balmain. Ke Balmain. I got this from Shopema Nigeria. I want to shop at Shopema Nigeria. I want to shop at Gucci. The Gucci. What is Gucci? The Gucci. It is a fake Balmain blazer. It is incredible. I think I purchased this like four years ago, like when I was still in school, you know, and the quality is just impeccable. It is fantastic. It was a thousand rand when I purchased it. I think these days, the shop in Nigeria by rickshaw around 1.5, if I'm not mistaken. But at that time, I purchased it for a thousand rand. I remember because I was just like, this is so much money. This is so much money, but I need one good basic blazer. And it is absolutely fantastic. I know Zara has blazers like this, but this quality is literally it's fantastic okay i believe um authentic balmain blazers or balmain whatever you want to call it um authentic ones retail for around 15 to 18 thousand for one around that much i'm definitely not doing that i would rather go back to school and i really really like i absolutely love this blazer this is the length on it as well for any of you guys i know some of you guys um, but you guys can go to branded warehouse if you're looking for like this type of outfits smart casual office type of stuff um, business type of stuff branded warehouse is the plug if you're in routing unfortunately the cape town hands the durban hands bloomfontein hands limpopo hands as skis but if you're based in routing anywhere in routing Branded Warehouse is definitely the plug. Please go to the Weinberg store. I wouldn't bother with the other stores because honestly, they're a mess. I like pretty places, so I really appreciate, appreciate the Weinberg store. They have all of these Zara items, Bershka items, but mainly a lot of Zara items for so much less, guys. Like, there's a pair of black pants and brown pants that I got from them. I believe they were a thousand rand at Zara, and I got them for 250 250 okay they don't have sizes that's one thing i'll say um the biggest size i saw is like extra large to extra large and that's like 10 to 30 percent of the stuff most of the stuff is small medium and large so if you're in that category you're like a 32 34 36 and some 38 you're definitely going to find like fantastic bargains i really really recommend branded warehouse make the effort to go there it's in the middle of nowhere but it is definitely worth it okay guys
all right guys thank you so much for watching today's haul i hope you guys enjoyed it i am really really excited to go into winter and hopefully i will have a fur collection and a fur plug for you guys i saw on my tiktok that a lot of you guys are interested in fur but shopping for yourself not necessarily starting a business where else with my company with a beauty business supply list um i look for suppliers for my students for people who want to purchase wholesale so even though these furs are all literally under 500 rand they're super affordable they have great colors and styles and everything and i absolutely love them and i keep wearing stock oh, yeah, but a stock <laughs> i'm not wearing the stock actually but yeah I know not everybody wants to start a business. That's completely understandable. Um, so I am working with a factory and trying to figure out a good deal where I can show you guys some of their items. Please let me know in the comment section, do you guys want a plug for faux fur or do you want real fur? Because that's something I'm struggling with. I don't know if there are people who have an issue with real fur. Because even I myself, I don't know where I stand with my ethics. Like, Do I actually have an issue with it? I don't know because I was doing my research on like faux fur and they were saying that because it sheds, these little fibers, okay, this one doesn't shed, but because they normally shed, like the low quality ones, these little fibers run into our water systems and they're very, very bad for our environment. So they were saying the best type of fur is vintage fur. And now guys, what's that? The second hand, I, I, we're going to do something about it that just doesn't click on with me. We're going to do something about by which I'm thrifting. Somebody had said, oh, can you do a thrift haul? And I was like, I'm not that handsome. I said, no. Oh, oh. I'm going to thrift haul. I'm going to thrift haul. I'm going to thrift haul. It's just not for me. I know we have different preferences. And consumerism is a problem. And buying new stuff all the time is a problem. But yeah, I'm just not. I said, I'm going to thrift haul. I'm going to thrift haul. I'm not interested. I just, girl. Mm -mm. So let me know. Do you guys prefer faux fur? Or do you prefer real fur so I can talk with the factory and um, just find a good plug for you guys. For those of you guys who are looking for the fur. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next Beyonce moment. In my next video. Bye.